What's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to shoot a quick little video here that details some of the updates uh, that I've noticed when playing around with the new uh, Android O operating system on a Sony XBR TV. So just to be clear, I have a Sony XBR 65 A1E series TV set. So I think they're currently on the F and maybe even G series TVs now. So um, your TV may or may not have gotten this update, uh, but if you have a new Sony TV set that runs uh, Android O or you've updated your TV recently, uh, this video will probably be pretty helpful um, for you, or at least hopefully it will be helpful for you. So what I really wanted to highlight here is how to clean up the home screen uh, and maybe get rid of some of the sponsored or banner ad content that's on here. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, if you're just taking your TV and set it up, um, my advice would be to sign the TV into a Gmail account. It gives you the ability to not only download apps and movies and content directly to the TV set, um, but it also associates the software licenses on your TV with an email account. Um, I've heard that that uh, helps updates and things uh, go faster and be a little bit more streamlined. Uh, but again, a quick look here at the out-of-the-box sort of condition of the TV. Uh, there's a lot of ads, there's lots of channels, there's lots of previews and a lot of things appearing here that uh, I don't necessarily maybe want my kids to see, maybe I don't necessarily want to see myself. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways again that you can clean this up a little bit. If we go to the home screen, uh, the settings tab up there at the top, and we scroll down to where it says home screen in the settings menu tab, uh, we can actually customize a lot of this stuff. So if we go to customize channels, I can get rid of the Bravia tutorials. I can get rid of all of the stuff that's coming to me from uh, Google. Uh, I can get rid of the play music uh, recommendations. I can get rid of Netflix. And you'll notice here at the bottom of the screen, as I'm checking these boxes off, those rows are disappearing. I can get rid of the Sony Select option. I can get rid of the TV tuner option. Uh, we'll look here at Voodoo. We can get rid of the free things that are coming to me from there. And we can also get rid of anything from the YouTube feed that I don't want. So now um, I've already kind of changed the apps and the things that I wanted to have uh, available in the home screen. But you know, if we scroll down here, I've got my Netflix, I've got my Amazon Prime, I've got YouTube, and I've got the video player app but I can't get rid of the March Madness option and I can't seem to get rid of the Google Play option here. So if we scroll back up, and I look in the settings tab and again, I'll just look at the home menu just to make sure that I've got all these checked off properly. Um, we can look at the customized channel here and is there a way, oh, there is an option here for promotional channels. I can actually get rid of the Google option, but I can't get rid of this sponsored tab. So, I'm not really sure what direction these apps are, these ads are coming from, but it looks like we've got some Aquaman, YouTube, YouTube, and PlayStation View. So, maybe I want to get rid of those as well. How do I do that? Uh, you can use a little option here in the TV set uh, in the new uh, update that goes to security and restrictions. So if we click on this tab, there's an option here for create restricted profile. Um, I just wanted to detail a little bit about one of these other options that are up here. Unknown sources, if we click on this option, this basically allows the TV to load software via USB on the side of the set. Uh, I would encourage or I would think that's probably a pretty good thing to have. Maybe you don't have internet access, but you'd like to update the TV, or maybe your internet connection isn't super fast, or you don't want to tie up the network doing a software uh, software download or update to the TV. Guess what? You can download that stuff uh, to a USB and load it into the set, and we'll, we'll keep that option open there in unknown sources. Uh, secondly is verify apps, uh, kind of to counteract maybe some of the things that you could download to the TV uh, via USB, sort of like a Net Nanny or a Safe Watch for the TV, just make sure that you're not downloading any malicious software to the set. But if we look here at Create Restricted Profile, that's really uh, the feature that I wanted to detail here. 
So it'll ask you to enter a PIN. A uh, quick shortcut is, is you can uh, use the number pad on the Sony remote instead of scrolling through those numbers so we can make that go a little bit faster. And now uh, if we look here in the, in the menu, it'll actually give us sliders. Do we want to keep these apps available? Do we want to disable all the smart features on the TV and just give you HDMI inputs? Looks like we can really lock all this stuff down. So in our particular case, we don't need to broadcast our location to anybody. We'd like to use uh, Netflix and we'd like to use Amazon Prime. We'd like to use the video app and we'd like to use YouTube. Um, back out of there, we can click on the uh, allowed app, excuse me, it'll bring us back to enter restricted profile. We can change the, the, the pin for the profile, which I'm not going to do. And now if we enter into restricted profile, we'll see the TV start to download uh, the configuration that we've asked it to do. And the TV will reboot in the restricted mode. So it might take a minute or so here, actually happens pretty quickly. Uh, and we'll notice here that some of these things are still appearing up on the top of the screen. Uh, we'll hear sounds again on the TV, so it's really like, again, the TV's merged into this other mode. So if we scroll up here, we can actually dial in some of the things that uh, we'd like to have the TV do. So first and foremost, we'll look at sound. I don't want the TV beeping every time I press the buttons on the remote, so we'll disable the system sounds. Um, screensaver, Bluetooth settings, we can configure the TV to have a you know Bluetooth remote, what have you. Uh, we can look here at the home screen again and see what options we have available there. Um, we can customize the channels that we have coming to us. So it doesn't look like we have anything there. Um, we don't want to have any video previews or audio previews. Uh, we can reorder the apps in the way that we'd like to have the apps on the screen. So maybe we want to have Netflix as the first one, Prime as the second one, YouTube as the third one, and TV Tuner as the last one. Sounds pretty cool. Um, and now we'll see if we look at the home screen. Again, the apps are in order there in the order that we'd like and we can even remove the TV functionality from the screen by pressing and holding uh, on, the, on the icon itself. So again, now we're not getting any banner ads. We only have the apps that we want to have available up there at the top of the screen. And of course, if I scroll over here to uh, restricted profile or inputs, we'll be able to pick those options, but we're still seeing a banner ad here for YouTube. Maybe we can defeat that. Let's have a quick look here. The settings. Back to the home screen. Go to customize channels. Oh, so now they appear there and we can actually even get rid of anything trending. So it may take a second for the TV to populate with all of the available options. So if you're playing around with this, just be patient. Um, may take a couple of clicks or take a little while to get the TV dialed in exactly the way that you want it to look. But now we have our inputs that are connected to the TV as well as the apps and the smart features that we want to do. So can't really get any simpler than that. Um, and according to the website, uh, looking at the Sony website about this, you can still also uh, have your voice control and all of that stuff available to you uh, so you can uh, do the OK Google uh, conversation with the TV and uh, you'll be able to still uh, maintain that voice control. <laughs> I still have a Google Home uh, speaker over there so it's listening to everything that I'm trying to tell the TV to do or not do right now. Um, so anyways, quick little video about how to uh, clean up the experience on your TV set. Doesn't involve promo, doesn't involve anything other than uh, using the main menu in the TV to uh, to set up a, a specific setting or a specific condition for the TV. If you want to exit pro mode, it's pretty straightforward. Follow the instructions on the screen and enter your pin and now the TV will go back to uh, the mode where I had it set up previous. It doesn't involve a restricted profile uh, and I have my banner ads back up. So 
again, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. Thank you.